Hello YouTube, welcome to my card out fishing video. Now here and there on YouTube I've seen people use um, gigantic uh, net like traps to um, trap crawdads with. Uh, you really can't lug one of those things around in a bio bag. Um, it's impossible. I mean they're just like, it's got to be two feet of uh, trap there. Um, to, to pack in a bio bag, it's, it's just not going to work. Um, but all you need to, to catch crawdads is a carabiner, cord, and bait. Um, this is licorice. I've got four pounds of this stuff in my bug out bag. Um, and what you do, now for bait, for bait you want to use something that's going to cohere in the water. You can't use a candy bar, you can't use a granola bar. Um, when I did this before, I used a, um, a chicken leg. Uh, that's perfect, you know. Um, if you have a squirrel carcass and you have a squirrel leg, that'd be, that would be ideal too. Um, but you just use knots and tie this stuff together. Um, you just use a square knot, nothing fancy. No need for a fancy knot or anything. You just tie the um, uh, carabiner on with the square knot. Then you tie in the bait. Again with the square knot. And you want to try to get the uh, bait close to the carabiner. The carabiner is so that it sinks. There's just a little bit of buoyancy to this stuff, I think. Um, so the carabiner is just so it sinks. And you want it right up next to the carabiner um, so that, you know, the, the crawdads are bottom feeders, so they're going to go towards on the floor of the pond. And, and crawdads are found in both uh, stagnant and um, uh, moving water. Um, so uh, you're good there. Um, there's plenty of crawdads here in Colorado at the uh, streams and uh, ponds and things like that. Um, but you want to get the carabiner up close to the bait. And then all you have to do is uh, toss out the bait. Now what you do, and if you don't have a stopwatch, I recommend you get a stopwatch. I've had this for years, even though I don't really remember to use it in my bug out bag videos, but um, stopwatch, you know, um, just, just set your stopwatch and wait 10 minutes. Um, pretend 10 minutes has gone by, all right? And uh, just very, very slowly and gradually draw the bait in, very slowly and gradually. Bear with me if this takes a little bit. Very, very slowly and gradually draw, draw the uh, bait in. And with any luck, here it is. With any luck, there'll be one or two crawdads just gr grabbing a hold of it. They don't let go. When you draw them in like that very slowly, they don't let go. So you, hopefully you have um, uh, one or two crawdads on here when you pull it in. If, if not, restart your watch and toss it out. Restart your watch and wait 15 minutes. Now it's 15 minutes has gone by, you know, slowly and gradually draw it in. And you can do this in shallow water too, you don't have to dig, you don't have to cast it out to the middle of the pond or anything. They, they're all over the floor of the pond, they're not only in the deep end. So you gradually draw it in. Again, hopefully there's one or two stuck to this uh, bait. Um, then you just take them off the bait and put them in your sack. And, and um, hopefully you do this again and again, you get a whole lot of them. Um, anyway, uh, what I also recommend you do is before you cast them into the boiling water, please stick your knife in their head as a measure of mercy, since it's pretty, uh, pretty cruel to throw them live into boiling water. I recommend you stick your knife into the head of the crawdad before you do so. Um, that's about all. Um, quick video. Uh, peace out.